Introduction As we delve into the intricacies of helminthic infections, it is crucial to understand the complex world of these parasitic worms. Helminths represent a diverse group of multicellular organisms, classified into two major categories, flatworms, tapeworms and flukes, and roundworms. Their morphological and taxonomical characteristics set them apart, and this distinction forms the basis of our discussion today. So, let us embark on this journey through the vast realm of helminthic parasites, their life cycles, transmission mechanisms, adaptive features, pathogenesis, diagnosis, treatment, global burden, public health implications, co-infections, immune responses, and the fascinating field of vaccine development. Parasitic worms, or helminths, can be classified into two main groups, flatworms, tapeworms and flukes, and roundworms, nematodes. Each group has unique morphological and taxonomical characteristics, which help in their identification and differentiation in the field of helminthology. The life cycles of helminthic parasites are complex, involving different stages and hosts. In flatworms, flukes have intricate life cycles with multiple intermediate hosts. Tapeworms have simpler life cycles, while roundworms go through stages in soil before infecting humans. Understanding these life cycles is important for controlling infections. This section will cover the different ways helminthic parasites are transmitted. The oral fecal route is the most common, where contaminated food and water sources become infested with helminth eggs and larvae. Poor sanitation facilitates this mode. Another method is through skin penetration. Hookworms, for example, can burrow through the skin, enter the bloodstream, and eventually reach the intestines. Lastly, some helminths rely on vectors like mosquitoes and fleas. These arthropods carry infective stages of the helminths and transfer them to their hosts when feeding on blood. Understanding these transmission mechanisms is crucial for preventing and controlling helminthic infections. In this section, we will explore how helminths adapt to different host environments through specialized anatomical features. This includes structures like suckers, hooks, and tegument. Suckers aid in attachment to host tissues, hooks provide additional anchorage within the host's intestine, and the tegument acts as a protective barrier while also secreting molecules that modulate the host's immune response. Understanding these adaptations gives us valuable insights into the complex interaction between helminths and their hosts. In the fifth section of our video on helminthic parasites, we will explore the pathogenic mechanisms used by these parasites. Helminths cause tissue damage through feeding, leading to conditions such as anemia and protein loss. They also evade the immune response by secreting molecules that suppress immune cell function. Additionally, helminths can induce an exaggerated immune response, causing chronic inflammation. Understanding these mechanisms is crucial for managing these infections effectively. In the diagnosis section, we explore the different ways to diagnose helminthic infections. Clinical manifestations, imaging techniques, and laboratory methods like serology and molecular assays help clinicians identify and classify these infections accurately. Topic 7. Treatment and prevention Effective treatment of helminthic infections is crucial for alleviating symptoms, preventing complications, and interrupting transmission. Anti-helminthic drugs are used, such as benzimidazoles and prezaquantel, with their mechanisms of action, efficacy, side effects, and the emerging issue of drug resistance explained. Additionally, preventive measures such as sanitation, hygiene, and vector control are emphasized to combat these infections. Helminthiasis, a group of parasitic infections caused by helminth worms, has a profound impact on global health, especially in low-resource settings. Factors like poverty, lack of sanitation, and limited healthcare access contribute to its persistence in developing nations. Understanding its prevalence, distribution, and socioeconomic implications is crucial for addressing its burden. Helminthic infections have broad implications for public health, going beyond individual health to affect entire communities. By analyzing the significance of these infections, we can develop interventions such as health education, community-based programs, and awareness campaigns to reduce transmission rates and improve overall community health. Topic 10. Co-infections and complications Helminthic infections often coexist with other pathogens, resulting in complicated disease scenarios and unique challenges for diagnosis and treatment. Investigating the interactions between helminths and other pathogens is crucial in understanding the impact on disease outcomes and complications. In some cases, helminths can exacerbate the severity of other infections by interfering with the host's immune response or enhancing the virulence of the co-infecting pathogen. Additionally, co-infections can impact treatment strategies, rendering certain medications less effective or altering disease progression. By delving into the complexities of co-infections and complications, we equip ourselves with the knowledge necessary to manage these challenging scenarios. The immune response to helminthic infections involves both innate and acquired mechanisms. 
phagocytosis, cytokine responses, and adaptive immunity play important roles in controlling these infections. Understanding these processes can improve intervention strategies. In this section on vaccine development against helminthic infections, we will discuss the current progress, challenges, potential targets, and promising candidates in both preclinical and clinical stages. We hope to engage students in this exciting field and encourage their future contributions to helminthic infection control. Our study of helminthic parasites has delved into taxonomy, transmission, pathogenesis, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention, addressing global health impact, co-infections, and vaccine potential. Armed with this understanding, we can strive for a helminthic infection-free tomorrow.